Well, several people on Long Island are under arrest, accused of so-called birth tourism scheme that led to the birth of 119 children here in the United States. Police are still looking for the others involved. I News reporter Kristen Thorne is live in Hot Bog with the story. Kristen. Liz, the pregnant women came here from Turkey. At least two of the suspects involved are Turkish citizens. Three of the other people allegedly involved in this scheme are U.S. citizens living here on Long Island. The suspects got the women into the United States by getting them here on tourist visas. The suspects are undergoing their arraignments as we speak at federal court. At least one of them has already pled not guilty and will be released on bond. Investigators surveilled one of the alleged birthing houses in Smithtown for several months in 2019. The photos show the suspects meeting outside the home and speaking with the women who live there. We've alleged that between 2017 and 2020, the defendants fraudulently facilitated the births in the United States of approximately 119 uh, Turkish children. Prosecutors say the suspects operated seven birthing houses across Long Island, two of them in Smithtown, and hosted a total of 117 women throughout the years. They advertised to pregnant Turkish women on Facebook. The fees ranged from 7,500 bucks to $10,000. Um, and the advertisement, you know, promised uh, women that not only would they have the benefit of birthright citizenship, but they'd have uh, insurance coverage uh, um, to pay for their medical expenses. The money for their medical expenses came from Medicaid. Prosecutors said Edgar Rodriguez of Farmingville, who's a state certified Medicaid enroller, facilitated that alleged fraud by telling those with Medicaid that the women were residents of New York. We've identified over 100 individuals who collaborated with this criminal organization, resulting in millions of dollars of public assistance, fraud, and countless visas and immigration benefits that should have never been issued. Investigators say most of the women have returned to Turkey with their children. Prosecutors say they do not have plans to bring charges against these women, and they say it is highly unlikely that the citizenship of these children would be revoked.